I want to talk a little bit about my um, drama with the Sephora sale and why this is not a Sephora sale video. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Erica Tesla here and in today's video I am looking forward to catching up with you guys. It's been a while since my last upload and so since then there's been some new makeup that has come my way so i wanted to chat with you guys about that and i also wanted to discuss my experience with the most recent sephora sale which i'm still waiting for my order from that but go ahead and keep on watching and let's get caught up with each other i wanted to talk about some new makeup items i have acquired since my last upload I was attempting to shop the Sephora sale this week, guys, and um, it just kind of devolved into chaos for me. Um, so we'll get into that in a little bit, but I'm gonna start out by talking about some recent items I got in PR. I'm gonna kind of briefly talk about that stuff and then move on to recent purchases on the drugstore side and also the luxury side. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is this LYS Beauty package that I received. They recently came out with a brand new um, a brow product, products I should say. So there's a brow gel and a secure the brow pencil. And because they've been sending me PR recently, um, I think really they do know my shade. And so of course I got this lovely info sheet with um, the beautiful Tisha Thompson, who is the founder and CEO of LYS Beauty. But um, just quickly, this does really work well. I did film a demo of these products working together. Um, I just need to upload it guys. Like life has just been really crazy. I don't know about you, but like, um, my kid's soccer schedule has like overtaken my life. <laughs> Moving on to the next few items that I got. Pixie is always like sending me stuff and um, you know, I don't hear people talking about pop beauty very much. I know like the challenge can sometimes be like we're, we're all really spoiled by like the quality of like drugstore brands and things like that. And um, their eyeshadow formula is decent it's not my favorite but they were kind enough to send me um two palettes here and this spray um this is the makeup magnet mist which is a nice makeup spray i got this a while ago guys we're just catching up here we got this like very cute pink set um i'm actually really excited about this one i think if i keep anything from these collections it's gonna be the pink um and i'm i'm Ashamed to admit, I've had this for a while, but this would have been perfect right when the Barbie movie came out. And then I got a couple of things from Pixie. Um, you've probably seen these show up on your like Instagram feed. We have a uh, eye patch set up here, and then we have a mist, and then they sent a very cute like personalized eye mask here to wear. And then finally from Pixie this set here which is really cute i haven't opened these yet but um they have an under eye crayon cc crayon a lash booster mascara which is actually a pretty nice mascara a sheer cheek gel um a lip lift max and a brow tamer so these are really really cute products for an all natural uh look so thank you to pixie beauty and pop beauty and i attended some workshop but some kind of zoom call thing uh, a while back and found out that the founders of both of those organizations are actually sisters so that was a fun fact okay. moving on to my last little bit of pr here for you guys um ysl reached out to me and wanted to send me some new products um we have this lash class lash clash mascara i'm gonna apologize because I do have a little bit of a lisp. I have my Invisalign in. I could take it out while filming, but I have to keep this in for 20 to 22 hours a day to see results. And guys, I wanna get this done as quickly as possible. So I do have this in, so I do apologize if I mispronounce words or you have a hard time understanding, but um, this is the YSL mascara. Here we have the Rouge Volupte. Volupte 
shines. We have number 44. Which number, what is 44? Yeah, Nude Lavalier, okay. I actually have this one. This came at the perfect time because I am down to the nubs with that one, but this is so pretty, guys. Okay, this is just like a swipe and go type of product. It's very hydrating on the lips. I really enjoy it. And then the packaging feels like really hefty, very luxurious. And then I have the shade, I don't have this shade, um, this one is pulsing pulsing rose hip i want to make sure that i'm saying that right so this is more of like a rosy tone so that's really pretty it's kind of not the same but kind of in line with what i have on right now which i'll talk about in a second so anyway i'm really excited to have these products in my lineup like i really do love the rouge volupt shine lip products they're really really moisturizing and i think personally my personal opinion like they just add a little something to the lips they're not over the top i love them for like everyday wear and i'm very excited to try this mascara so thank you to ysl for that so one of the last pr things i want to uh, share with you guys and unbox with you is the what's up beauty serengeti highlighters so i received two of these highlighters um, i took them out of the box these are the boxes and they have this really really beautiful embossing of them with blend of the beautiful big cats and one of the signature trees that you would see on the serengeti and here's the packaging itself it's very reflective like this is it's really beautiful quality really beautiful quality it's actually on par with what the uh Louvre collection by Lancome feels like so this is the Lancome collection I did a video it's my last video that I did but you can see like you have that shiny packaging this is like more of a rose gold and black and so here's the highlighter this one is in the shade Safari Sunset and I'm gonna swatch this for you it's a very light highlighter I think that sheen's that's actually surprisingly pigmented i was a little bit concerned i'm not gonna lie when i saw the release video if it was gonna be um able to like meet the demands of my complexion i'll say that and then we have wild acacia which is this one here so i'm gonna take i'm gonna swatch these two shades and you can blend the shades together so it comes with two colors that you can use individually or you can blend together. And I'm gonna swatch it on this side. There's my beautiful swatching right there. So this one's like more pale and icy. And then last but not least, it comes with this r201 like a highlighter brush and you guys like i will say this i received their brush set i did do a short con short form content video with their um their full like eye brush collection you guys their brushes are really really nice i used them for a wedding not too long ago and they perform really really beautifully i like them on myself they are natural goat hair so these are like really nice quality moving on i have been just kind of like haunting Ulta haunting the drugstore looking for different things to try before the Sephora sale like also is having like a ton of like promotions and stuff like that so just to get into it I did get some new nails I do like the kiss press on nails these are actually a different brand these are OPI but um, I don't know about you but like I mentioned my schedule is like so crazy during the weekdays and on the weekends with like my kids activities like I feel like I'm too fidgety to sit down and be still in a nail salon because I have like a million things in my mind of like what else I need to be doing. <laughs> Not that I don't enjoy the experience. I love going to the nail salon, but like I just picked these up. They're really cute. They're kind of this like, this is the, from the Bare But Better line. And I like these because like they're pretty natural. They're pretty good for everyday wear. And um, I, just, I just like the Nude But Better series. I also picked up from Ulta the cutest NYX palette. So this is from their holiday collection. This is called Flamingo Frost. And I wore this for the first time yesterday. I wore 
the darkest shade here in the outer V and I kind of blended it with this like medium brown and this gorgeous like teal green shade topped with this like shimmery shade that looks like kind of like a aqua color guys this is so pretty and I love the look that I came up with this like I don't know I think there have been like a few NYX products that I really liked a lot of their eyeshadows are just kind of as my son would say mid um but this one is really really cute so if you see this in the store and you have a coupon and some points i would say pick this one up it is so cute now they do have this kind of key here where they tell you which shades are not eye safe or are considered pigments that are not eye safe so use at your own discretion so these pinky shades here which you could use as a blush you could use that on your face as a blush if you don't want to take the risk of putting it i personally don't have an issue with like pink and red dyes i'm fortunate to not have you know touch wood uh allergies to that so yeah i would say just use it at your own discretion but this is such a fun holiday color story that's a little different than your traditional like straight up red greens and golds um so yeah i'm really excited about that and then i picked up the la girl foundation mixing pigments these were on sale and i've been like really curious to try these because i have the house labs foundation which i love it pulls just a touch orange on me so you know youtube university tiktok university have taught me that you can kind of uh mitigate that with blue color corrector and then the yellow shade can kind of get you like a lighter and a warmer shade so i'm gonna play with these uh with some of my foundations that aren't like a perfect perfect match and that's no shade to any brands because even with all the 50 shade ranges like we're all still very nuanced and unique and they get it as close as they can but sometimes it's cool to be able to mix and match and customize a little bit to your personal skin tone and then i also picked up what i have been hearing for a long time this is not a new product guys like this is this has been out like i'm i'm not doing like the newest stuff here but this is supposed to be this is the halo glow liquid filter which is the charlotte tilbury dupe and so i'm gonna see if this i'm gonna try this out and because i'm low on my charlotte tilbury and i'm gonna see if that will save me any funds or not and then finally as far as drugstore products it, this includes what i have on my lips i don't know why i've been sleeping on l'oreal guys like i have rediscovered l'oreal products i picked up two glosses i posted on tiktok about one of them which is this blushing berry shade here and then i have this other shade this like kind of a, it looks electric in the two this kind of scared me at first because i was like what if this is like full color but it shears out you guys to this like very pretty magenta shade it's very flattering i think for like my skin tone it, it's not opaque so you're not gonna get like hot shocking pink on your lips but it's really pretty and then i got two lipsticks i got blushing berry and paris new york and you guys this paris new york shade is so pretty like if you have my skin tone or deeper and you love berry shades like this is so so pretty i love this color and i've already worn it so i'm gonna just like swatch it for you guys like that is so pretty that is so so pretty um i know we're like full on into like nude lips and stuff like that but sometimes it's nice to just put on some mascara and do like a bold lip especially like in the fall and the winter season so it's like a pretty one for the holidays and then we have the shade blushing berry here which i have on now by itself and this is how it looks on me and i like this shade it's very pretty standalone i actually was drinking coffee this morning and i still had lipstick on my face so <laughs> on my lips i should say uh so i was actually pretty pleased with the performance it like held up and i was really really happy about that okay so those are like pr drugstore now let's hop into fancy stuff i want to just get into some more like luxury purchases that i got and before i do um i want to talk a little bit about my um drama with the sephora sale and why this is not a sephora sale video i'm not posting that just yet because i had received gift cards 
uh, for graduating for my PhD program, which I was really, really grateful for. And the gift cards totaled $300. So I re received a $100 gift card and a $200 gift card from very generous family friends who were just, have supported me all the way through my PhD journey. And I specifically saved them for the Sephora VIB sale event. And some of you may have experienced this, but that app was so glitchy. Like if you tried to buy anything through the app during the Sephora sale, it was a little wild. The app kept crashing and you know, there was all of these like issues with like trying to, you know, even like purchase, make purchases uh, from the app. And so I didn't realize like how crazy it was for them because I put my gift cards in, I had my cart ready to go. And then I think I was like, oh, let me look at like one more thing because you know how we, we are, we're like, oh, you know, I wanna like try to make this count. And so I had, you know, everything ready to go. I go back to look at something and then the app like refreshes and I don't know what happened, but um, when I tried to go back to my cart, my gift cards balance, my gift card balances were at zero. And so I was really confused and I kept trying to refresh the app and re-enter the, uh, the card numbers and everything like that. And now keep in mind, I did not place the order. So nothing had been purchased. I didn't even purchase anything. Like at this point, I was just so confused with the process and what was happening and I chalked it up to a technical issue. So of course I called Sephora customer service. I started out with a live chat and I was talking to a live chat representative. And I wanna add that as frustrated as I was, uh, every customer service rep that I talked to uh, from Sephora was incredibly professional and courteous. So this is why I am not lambasting Sephora right now because the people were incredible, but they had such horrible technical issues. It took a week um, and almost the end of the sale for them to be able to restore the balance. I think initially when I called the first customer service rep I talked to on the phone was a bit skeptical that I had a balance on the gift cards, but I think the more that I called and whoever was reviewing my case could see like, how can the money go anywhere if this customer hasn't placed an order because your order history is like in your account. So eventually they did resolve my issue. I was grateful to receive a $20 credit plus in total like an additional 500 points like because i was like down to like 300 points or something like that um so they really did try to compensate the experience um it was a little frustrating i and i know and i'm not trying to be obtuse i know there are much bigger issues in the world so this was like a minor thing but as a consumer to be aware of the fact that, you know, now with apps and all of the technology that companies rely on for processing like your shopping orders and your money and your, or your gift cards or whatever you're using to make your purchase. Um, I will say the one thing that I got out of this was to be persistent because I did call daily. And I know that sounds so crazy, but um, it's a lot of money and people gifted that money to me and I take that really seriously and I'm so grateful that they thought enough of me and know me well enough to get me specifically gift cards to Sephora. So thankfully it all worked out in the end. I was stressing guys, I was like posting on threads, like I don't know if I'm gonna shop that sale anymore. I don't know, we'll see if I keep that promise or not. Um, but it was really gonna depend on the outcome because I think had they not been able to restore the, credit, the gift card balance, I don't know that I would continue to shop there, but they did do their best. They made it work for me and they threw in a couple of extras to you know, say sorry for all of the trouble. So it worked out, but with all of that being said, my Sephora order is not coming until next week. Uh, yeah, so I, I have like a full week because they are so backlogged, guys. They're so backed up. And so I have to tell you, as a YouTuber, it was kind of torture seeing everyone with their Sephora bags in their thumbnail. And I'm like, 
I want mine too, you know? Like I felt like the kid who was like left out. And again, I know there's bigger problems, I'm fine, okay? Like this is like first world problems, guys. Like this is not like, you know, anything critical. But it's just a little aside and also a little thing to be aware of next time you're shopping on the app. Cause they did tell me like next time, you know, you try the computer use your computer and a lot of us are on our phones so i was like what what language are you talking but anyway long story short let's get into some more lux purchases that i picked up guys i picked up the natasha denona xenon palette like so just to clarify i got this before the sephora sale i actually got this from ulta because again i have been saving gift cards like a maniac guys like i had a gift card from my birthday last year which my birthday's in december and you do the math it was october when i made this purchase i just been holding on to things because i was like didn't really see anything over the summer that i was like in love with and you know the holidays it is a crush it is a rush a crush it gets crazy you can spend a lot of money if you're not really careful so i was like when these sales come up let me be strategic so i actually got this palette with a gift card and i think i paid three dollars total for this um palette and i got the mini one too i don't know where that is guys like i if i managed it but the, you know what the mini one looks like it is like literally the smaller version of this but this is what i have on hand so i paged this one up i did post a look with this i have been loving how cool tones look on me so i will be doing more looks with this one and then I had another gift card, you know, you guys are gonna be like, are you a hoarder? But no, I've had major events. I turned 40 and then I graduated with my PhD and I have amazing friends and family. So I have um, gone a little ham, but they know me. They know how I am with the makeup and all that fun stuff. So here we are. I also picked up the Yucca palette. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical of this one i wasn't sure that i really wanted it but i have been seeing some of the most gorgeous looks and then this shade camu camu this kind of like greeny yellow shade has been calling me and i'm kind of tempted to like do a look with that really really soon but yeah this is in person it's a lot prettier i have to give it credit so i'm really excited to have those new natasha denona palettes and then all the basic girlies have been lusting for Mario's Ethereal Eyes palette. Okay, like we have been wanting this. Okay, she's barely touched. I did use it to do some makeup for someone. Um, but this is this is mine. And it's so pretty. And so it's gonna move up to like my everyday makeup drawer because this is just such a pretty palette. I know that it was on the Sephora sale, but when it came back out, I was a little anxious about it selling out because he's not bringing it back. And I don't know what's up with these limited edition palettes and makeup products, but if people like it, just keep bringing it back. Like leave it there for us. It's kind of like the M. Resi highlighter. I'm, I'm salty about that one, but that's another story because um, I missed out. But yeah, this is super pretty, so I'm really excited about this. Back to my Sephora drama. In the process of dealing with all of the like uh, technical glitch issues and things like that, there were things that were in my cart that sold out and I was really salty about it. I was really hurt and I was like, no, just on principle, I feel like I should have these things. Like, why would you sell them out? And by the way, like, why does Sephora do this thing where things sell out during the sale and then they mysteriously return or come back in stock the day after the sale ends? We're on to you, Sephora. Okay, we know the deal. But anyway, I had wanted to get the um, YSL mini clutch here here she is this is the one number 100 in store doll so this is the one that sold out on the sephora website i got this from bloomingdale's because uh i am a loyalist i do love shopping at bloomingdale's and so this one is a cool tone palette it's just so pretty i love the packaging it's very very luxe and I have another one of these coming to me that was in stock during the Sephora sale. It's another 
one of these palettes um so you know i i haven't tried ysl eyeshadows before so i'm really excited i love the lip product so i'm gonna try it with the one the lip products in the mascara ysl was nice enough to send me i think it's gonna be like such a gorgeous look and so i'm really happy to have picked that up there's this little rare beauty set that sold out did you guys remember this one this is the blush and glow set that has like two blushes and two highlighters in it and i i slept on rare beauty at first uh, i have a little sample set that i got a while ago that has convinced me i really like their blush and highlighter products and so i'm very excited to have these different shades these are new shades i believe i think these are new shades i could be wrong um but i think this is like a nice mini set i do often travel with the existing rare beauty that i have in my collection and i just love that it's like a little goes a long way okay last but not least guys in this video i have the guerlain palette from their holiday collection and what is this one called this is called glittery tiger and look at that packaging so you have this really beautiful palette the black material is velvet and then the silvery glittery material here is it's kind of like a pasted down glitter like it's it's not gonna like rub off which is really really nice but this is definitely like a very pretty like vanity piece i would protect it because it does look like this could collect dust if you're not careful um but yeah this is so pretty and i wanted this one and this was the first one to sell out it's got these little brushes in here this was the first one to sell out so look at these shades so we've got the yellow this gold green purple and this is kind of like a it's looking kind of pinky from my viewfinder but it's like a gold shade so like a light pale gold and it's giving mardi gras but i was like so intrigued by this like purple shade i'm gonna actually swatch these shades and see what i think first impressions i hope <laughs> for the amount of trouble i went through to get this palette that i like oh those are pretty they're very smooth so let's swatch yes really smooth very pretty oh wow so yeah these are really pretty i'm very excited the pigment is really nice um one of the things that i do like about the luxury brands formulations is that you don't so yeah how do i want to say this like sometimes like the, you know people when they're looking for pigment and stuff like that like they want like that wow factor but my makeup taste has changed to where i don't necessarily want to go in and like have this like really bold strong pigment on my eyes sometimes i want the opportunity to like build the color up so this is pretty pigmented but i feel like you could build this up to where you want it to be or leave it sheared out if you just want something more subtle like a little plummy smoky look that could be so pretty so yeah i'm really really excited to try this out so yeah those were my kind of like luxury items i was hoping to get through the sale but i did find them other places because they are limited edition well this is limited edition and I do believe the YSL clutch is also limited edition. And I just don't want to miss out on these. Because they're really, really pretty. Like, I, I've been really starting to transition to eyeshadow snobbery. Because <laughs> I just like how it works. Like, when your eyelids change, it's just really nice to have formulas that, that just, like, are smooth. They work. I don't necessarily need to go for, like, the cut crease bold looks um that you know we were talking about like everyone's talking about the 2016 girlies which i love those looks but i don't know it's just not working for me anymore i'm 40 and so it's just a nice shift we're, we're we're shifting down we're shifting the gears down a little bit and calming down on some respects it doesn't mean not fun because i love colors and shimmers and things like that but i've been really enjoying the opportunity to like play with different formulas and things like that so 
that is my new makeup haul that does not include my sephora order that will eventually get here let me know if you guys are still going to be interested in seeing that because by the time i get my sephora order i think people will have been like sephora ordered out and you're probably going to be seeing like brand releases which is another point to consider is like brands sometimes have better sales than sephora so that's one lesson that i'm taking into consideration moving forward with like certain purchases because sometimes the brands just do their sales better and you get a deeper discount depending on which brand it is like i didn't buy any pat mcgrath from sephora because she tends to have way better black friday sales so i'm waiting to see what she offers us because like i have my eye on a couple of the quints I'm not in love with everything that she released this holiday season so i'm just waiting to see what the sales what those sales gonna do what they're gonna do what are they gonna do anyway you guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out chat about makeup to watch this video please make sure to like this video leave me a comment say hi and please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you join me on this makeup journey and you know yeah anyway all that being said hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching bye